everyone, this is Amanda. This is my channel, Amanda Random, and today I have a kids kind of toy haul, plus we're going to throw in some DVDs and some games that we found, and I know it's been a while, so I want to jump back into this and just start showing you all of these different goodies that I found today at Dollar Tree. All right, you guys, one of the first products that I want to show out of this kind of kids and toy haul are these little DreamWorks troll figurines. They are absolutely adorable. They come with a couple, like, little different trinkets with them, if you can see here. So they each have their own separate little trinket that is different. And I just thought these were so cute for a buck. You cannot pass these up. These are great for any little kid for a little reward or something like that for being good. And what little kid does not love playing with all these different types of little figurines, let alone them being trolls. So I did pick up Harper. We've got the infamous Poppy. And then over here is GJ Suki. And then again, I did grab another Harper. You guys, these are so cute. If you can find these, they are so, so worth the buck. Okay, you guys. So moving on, the next product I want to show you are these Starlink Battle for Atlas. Now, I'm not really even 100% sure what these all are, so I'm not going to even pretend to know. But what I do believe, these are the different, um, like, weapon upgrades for the Starlink Battle um, ships and things like that. So on the back, it just tells you what they are, what you can use them for, um... And it's to help complete your fleet. So yeah, these must be like kind of all of the different weapons for these people. So I did pick up two of these just because I did find the Starlink ships prior. And I know like that was a big deal. Everyone was out there trying to find those and get those because they were, I think, pretty expensive in store. So to find them at the Dollar Tree, everyone was looking for them. And another thing I want to show everyone are these Dragomons. These are so cool. Even the little containers that they come in, like, I don't know. To me, it's just, it makes me think of, like, a little dragon egg, and then you start here, and you rip it, and you tear it open, and inside your dragon pack, you get one dragon and six assorted trading cards. So, another thing that's really, really cool smash to battle like any little kid would love these in a birthday gift bag or things like that or like again as I said just as just like the trolls a little reward for your boys or girls it doesn't matter general neutral here so um I personally love dragons as well so I cannot wait to open these with my niece and my nephew and all that good stuff so I was super excited to find those and I was actually blown away when I seen this stuff. This is Orb Slimy Frappicorn, and it is a mix-up unicorn magic. So there's three glittery colors inside here. I don't know if you can really see too well on camera, but even the packaging is super adorb, like really so cute. So inside there is, you can kind of see if I hold it like this, there's glitter in here. So this is like basically slime for all of you crazy kids out there that love slime and everything. And it's not an Amanda Random video if you don't hear my insulin pump beeping since it is right over there charging. So anyway, again, this is so worth the buck. Um, my daughter actually opened one that we had just to try it out and see. And it was really actually pretty cool. Um, now this isn't so much a toy, but I did pick this up, and it is from Extreme Tech. Excuse you, Nikita. I'm making a video here. People just don't understand. All right, you guys. So, like I said, it is from Extreme Tech, and it's just a cable companion. So, these go on the end of all of your little accessory, like, charging cords and things like that. So, they don't get crimped and bent, and your chargers don't break, and it keeps your wires straight. So, this one right here is a little shark, and I had to pick this up. Shark Week and all that good stuff. And one of my best friends absolutely loves sharks, and I don't even know if she'll use this or not, but she's getting it just because it is a shark. All right, one of the products of the week for my Dollar Tree was this, and I could not believe this was a Dollar Tree product, you guys. A dollar for this 
And we have four jumbo chalk sets, and they come with the chalk holders inside as well as the four washable chalk colors, which are right there, pink, blue, yellow, and purple. Look at these. Oh, my goodness. These are amazing. So I did pick this up because I'm telling you guys, this is a score and a half. Like, this is seriously, yeah. I couldn't believe this was only a dollar, and this is something that my niece Ireland is absolutely going to love. So here's the little holders for them, and you put the chalk right inside, and there you go. Amazing chalk creations are in my future. I just see it. Another thing that I was just floored to find, again, are these scrump squishes from Soft and Slow Squishies. And it's another Orbs product, you guys. Do you see these? Look at these cake. Cakes, I should say. They're all in here. They're... Oh, they're so, like, slow-rise. You can see it or feel it, I should say, through this packaging. And let's just talk about the packaging. You guys know I'm a freak when it comes to things like that. This packaging is just adorable. Like, I would cut this packaging up and use this in a junk journal and things like that. So here is a basic, basically they're just squishies. That's what I call them. I don't know. They're super soft, super slow rise. And these are just like desserts and things like that. So this is what this one looks like. And I could sit and squish these all day, you guys. They're seriously so squishy. I know this for a fact because my daughter did open another one that we purchased. And yeah, let me tell you. Super squishy and addicting. All right. So we <laughs> these I kind of have a little mixed review on. Um, these are the Magic Show games. So there's 10 pieces in here in this little box, and it's going to tell you on the back, like, what you get. There's a coin, po a puzzle, a coin base, and a perplexing beads. And then inside there is a little piece of paper that kind of gives you a rundown of how to use the different things that are included in your magic box and how you can do a bunch of different magic tricks with them. And um, we did open one, and yes, it did work, but I will have to say this is a very cheap product compared to, I'd say, like things like this so far. Um, so there was a couple pieces that were actually kept. One that was broke when we opened the box, but it was a buck. It doesn't matter. They were still fun. My daughter learned some magic tricks, so it was still, I guess, worth the dollar. But they're not 100% very well made, I guess. We'll just leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. So... Some of the next things I want to show you are name brand things again, like these Marvel Avenger Mashems. One of the little girls that I babysit for is obsessed with these Mashem things. I didn't even know what they were. Like, this mama feels kind of out of the loop, but now that I am up on my knowledge of the Mashems, they're basically just little tiny figurines that are super squishy, and you basically mash them. Ha ha, do you get it? All right, you guys, so I did pick up two of the Avenger Mashems just because I know my nephew Finley and my niece Ireland are probably going to really love these, and you can't give one something and not the other, so, you know, we grabbed two. Um, speaking of two, we found the Nickelodeon Slime, you guys. This is the super gooey fun in Lavender. Scent, and then we have the super gooey fun in neon pink. So it's from Crazy Art, but it is a Nickelodeon product. So I thought that's really cool. And the fact that they come with these nice containers with the lids that can go back on and contain your slime. If you're a parent out there whose kid loves slime, you know what I'm talking about. When they come in like cheap bags and you rip it open and then you're just left with this ooey gooey handful of slime and you have nowhere to put it. So you end up throwing it away. That's what's nice about this. It can go right back in these handy dandy, cute little slime containers. Um, the next thing I want to show you are these. These were new. Again, I apologize for the beeping over there. It's charging, so it's just going to keep doing that. 
Um, I did grab these foam glider. So they're so they say they are easy to assemble and easy to fly. So hopefully that is the case. And I picked up this one right here for my nephew. And then I picked up the red one right here for my niece. So I don't know if you guys remember playing with them when you were little, but you just had those like little glider like wooden airplanes or whatever. And that's kind of what this reminded me of. But like Totes cooler, so of course I had to grab those. <clears throat> and then I did find these Plego sticks, and there's two in here. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, these are for me. Okay, hello, I'm Amanda, and I'm a child. Check these out, they're blue and they have skulls on them, and they can like hang on little necklaces. Okay, I think that is super cool, you guys. I'm so down, I love skulls. So, definitely was something I had to pick up. And then, my niece Ireland is in love with Jojo Siwa. Like, I'm talking... Uh, yes. She had a Jojo Siwa birthday party. So, we'll, that just should explain it. So, when I saw that the Dollar Tree had these from Nickelodeon, these were just the Jojo Siwa Super Star Charms. And inside, it just contains one of the Jojo Siwa charms but there's so many different charms you can collect them and hang them anywhere do what you want with them I don't know but I picked it up because like I said once she sees this it's gonna make her little day so I had to grab that and then these were new and I just threw one on the floor so let me go grab that one so as I was saying before I completely threw these on the ground like a savage um these were just put out. These are the magic water paintings. So they come with, and the best thing I should say about these is they're reusable because you draw or color, if you will, with the water. And there's the pen. You fill it up with some water. Let me turn this around. Here's all the different uh, scenes, basically. And then all of these little white spots you use your water pen right there and you just color over it and then the picture magically well I guess I can show you right here so in these white areas where you draw over it the the color just comes through so there there we go <laughs> that's the gist of it but they're really awesome and then once they dry they go right back to their white color and then again they can fill up their little watercolor and just paint over them and think that they are total total artiste so I did grab this one, which is the dinosaur one for my nephew Finley, and then of course we had to grab the really pretty cute mermaid one for my niece Ireland, and then again, this is the same, you can see on the back, it, it just does all the same stuff. Same thing, but definitely, definitely worth the buck. I've had these for them in the past, and they absolutely love them, so that is a plus. All right, I'm, I'm running out of room here. I see that I do have some stickers in here. And again, these aren't really toys or for kids because they're for this big kid right here. Not going to lie. I use these in my journals and things like that. So these are just some stickers from Crafter Square. This is a 10 piece. And I don't know if you guys can really see, but they are kind of like 3D because they're raised up a little. And I just thought these are absolutely adorable. And then this is an eight piece from Crafter Square as well and just some flowers. So I had to grab those for me. And then the next thing I found, they have so many different themes, you guys, when it comes to all of the this stuff. Now, like, this little bag matches some of their binders, their notebooks, their pens, their pencil holders. Like, you could just do a whole matching themed Dollar Tree haul or set up if you wanted to and they're so cute. So I did pick this little bag up for Jasmine Or my niece whoever ends up wanting it, but I couldn't get over how cute this pattern is with the cactus and the roller skates and ice cream all of this so this is what it looks like and it is just considered a cross body bag which like I said you guys these are adorable and for a buck Yes, they're kind of cheap, but in all reality, this is durable. Like, this isn't just going to rip apart. They're sewn in there well. You can see the... I don't know. I can't say enough good things about some of these products because I know a lot of people say everything from the Dollar Tree is cheap. Why do you waste your money? Um, 
if you go and you look and you price out some of these products that I have found now for this Dollar Tree haul, let me tell you, you're not finding them for a dollar anywhere else. So don't tell me that everything from the dollar store is crap. So, all right, some more stuff that I wanted to share real quick are these kids style um, youth teas from the Dollar Tree right now. And I'm just gonna give you a little heads up of what I like to do with them. So I did grab the youth tea in a large in this color. And then we also got the youth tea in this color. I think this is also a large, I believe, somewhere here. Yes, this is also a large. So why I wanted to show you these youth, youth teas with all this other stuff is a little DIY here at the end of the video. If you have bleach at home and you know how to tie dye, you have some extra rubber bands, anything like that, you can take this Dollar Tree Buck t-shirt and turn these into something really cool. All you need is bleach and rubber bands. So what I do with my daughter, we're actually going to be doing it together. Maybe we'll make a video of it, but we're going to tie dye these and put our little rubber bands all through it. And then we're going to soak just the parts that we want in the bleach. And then you're going to have the offset color of the white with the color of the t-shirt. And they just look really, really cool. And I just think that was a really awesome thing that, you know, anyone can basically do. So when you have them for a dollar and you want to let your kids try it out, definitely a fun DIY that you can do at home. And before we bring this to an end, let's grab this whole stack because I know a bunch of you are waiting to see what these are. I just can't believe when you can find some of this stuff at the Dollar Tree. One of the things I cannot believe to start off with is this right here. So this is an Xbox One game, you guys. This is EA Sports NHL 17. You don't even want to know how much these games actually go for, considering they're Xbox One games. So, um, I'm telling you, I this is amazing to me that they were even there. So, when I did see two of them, I picked them up, because these will make great gifts for my sons to give away, or for my kids to use, or to, whatever to have on hand for them to even play. I couldn't believe it, and this was definitely a score. So I did pick up two of the NHL 17s, and I found this. You guys, I'm absolutely in love with this show. This is a Tom Hardy show. Do you like it too? I know. Don't look at my dirty floor. We need to mop. Okay, so <laughs> this is a taboo. Like I said, Mr. Tom Hardy is in it, and it is very, very... It's a very weird show in the beginning. You have to kind of get into it, but let me tell you, I did. So this is complete season one. I absolutely love it. I hope that they make more seasons, so I did grab this. And we're kind of horror freaks around here. We love us a good scary movie, so I did find The Hollow Child. Something is different about Olivia. Scary. All right, so I picked this one up to watch. And then this one includes two bonus movies. So this is remote viewing. You never know who's watching. And then I'm not sure. Oh, right here it tells us. Um, the bonus movies are The Chronicles of the Paranormal and The Veil and Phantom from Space. Hmm. Right there. All right. Well, there you go. That's kind of freaky. I don't know. We'll see. And then I went ahead and found this one. This is Apartment 143, and it's the first real ghost story. It's a paranormal activity in just about every way possible, but with more action. Yeah. Okay, so, yes, I said we were on a kind of like a freaky little movie kick. So the fact that this is a Blu-ray, mind you, a Blu-ray, we did pick that one up. And then this one right here has a $7.99 tag on it because this is a horror flick collection. Ooh, that looks like Chucky. So this right here, you guys, contains 17 horror movies. And it does list them all here on the back. I don't know if any of you remember the Puppet Master movies and things like that, but here they are. There's a whole bunch. You know, who knows? And then the last and final movie 
we got us some Billy's Boot Camp with Billy Blank. Let me tell you guys, this man is an animal. And I cannot wait to do this. So this is all lower body. All right, you guys. So like I said, here is the last one. Um, my camera just cut out because I'm running out of space. But again, this was definitely a score for a Dollar Tree movie. And that is it for this haul, you guys. I'm completely running out of space on this phone. So thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. If you stayed this whole time, let me know in the comments below what your favorite DVD or movie was. Let me know what your favorite toy or something that I found was. Let me know if you're adding anything to your wish list. And as always, you guys, stay random. I can't wait to see you guys again soon. Bye.